Hello there and welcome back to Bolts for Bucks. My name is Stephen Bresnell and today is opening day of Rifle Antelope. So we're out here on a bunch of public land, BLM land, state land, um, and we're just going to overlook all these valleys and we're going to find some great goats today. Now, if you might know that antelope hunting, it's actually American pronghorn and locals call it speed, speed goat or just goat sometimes. So we're going to be looking for those today. Um, the weather could not be better. Last year it was 10 degrees and like a blizzard. It was the worst weather I've ever seen on opening day for antelope. This year, total opposite. It's probably the low 30s now, but it'll warm up probably into about 65 degrees today. Bright blue skies and almost no wind. So it should be a great day. Stay tuned. All right, folks. So like I might kind of suspected being extremely dry season, dry year. Um, the antelope seem to be all just pinned up on that private. Normally that's not a problem in this unit. Normally there's enough moisture to where it's pretty easy. I mean, last year, despite the blizzard, I got all three antelope before noon. Um, but uh, I saw a running buck with a bunch of does on another buck, just a couple hundred yards inside a private. Uh, cruising around so I decided to take a little look in another area, but no such luck yet. We'll we'll find one two does down buddy two hill of bucks or does down i got a buck to go all right folks so I filled my two don't antelope to hit tags in probably the first hour and a half a little slow oh yeah oh yeah dead a little farther forward than i wanted i must have that must have been me and there's the other one right over there so not even 100 yards apart perfect Get these things tagged and drag them to the truck and butcher them up. They're so close to the to where I have access. It's there's no point in me uh, butchering them right here. It's funny these Wyoming tags. The pens never work on me. You have a brand new pen, they hardly work. Half the time I lose my pen, I'll be honest with you. The other half the time the pen doesn't work. All right, folks. Two beautiful shots, a little farther forward than I liked, but both within the chest cavity, front shoulder, just dropped them both in their, in their tracks. Instant death, very humane. But uh, my two, 2020 rifle doe antelope now it's on to bucks so look all right folks all done with those two does butchering them up skinned quarter non-ice um the one shot was perfect to hit the heart 
The other one was a little farther forward than I wanted. So as you can see, it's super dry today. Now, this same valley last fall had not only snow, but it actually had water in it. We were getting so much rain and it was much greener. And there was tons of antelope held up in it. Um, you, you, I haven't seen a single antelope in here today, except for on the far edge and they ran onto private. So this year is definitely being more challenging because the good bucks and the more antelope I'm seeing are on the agricultural fields, the private fields. Because All right, so at lunchtime I decided to go back, actually about one. I wasn't finding any really big bucks. Um, I'll probably just settle for a small one now. But I went back at lunchtime and grabbed the wife and kids so that we could come out and try to get her tag and my tag filled before the end of the day so we can do family things the rest of the va vacation. If we don't do that tonight, we'll come back out and get the antelope tomorrow. But... Uh, Emily unfortunately missed one at 200 yards. It was a dumb antelope. It walked in 75 yards, but it wouldn't stop moving. So she couldn't get it shot in it. So we went out and rechecked the gun at 100 yards and it was dead on. So just human error, it happens, it happens to me. No big deal, but we're gonna try to find another one now and put a stock on it. It's still beautiful weather. We got about two to three hours worth of light left. All right, so we're out here doing some antelope hunting and I didn't see this rattler in time and just nailed it with the truck. Unfortunately, it's rattles broke off or else I'd have kept those as a I'd have ate it I'd have killed it and then I would have ate it kept its rattles But uh, unfortunately it it got hit hard Cool little rat All right, folks, so this was like a crazy rush. There was antelope, they were on edge. There was a whole herd. Um, this buck, I couldn't get a good visual on. He was just rutting, 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 moving back and forth, back and forth, chasing his does. And uh, he looked all right for this public land unit. It's extremely difficult to get a good buck. And uh, a lot of them, because it's so dry, are hemmed up on that private land. So <clears throat> I was kind of like only an hour or two left to light. I need to get this done. And I took about a 300, 250, a three, I think it was a 300 yard shot. I arranged it, but it wouldn't range good because it's so flat. And it ended up being about 300 yards walked off. And I smoked this thing. I mean, it probably is a hard shot or really close to hard shot. Just perfect shot. You can't ask for a better shot. Right. And, oh, it's not bad. Yeah, I could tell it was a great shot from back there. All right, folks. Wow. Um, it has been quite the day. There's a lot of hunting pressure here. The dryness this year, this, like a drought we're in, has just really made it hard to get onto even a buck this big on public land. So I've seen a lot bigger than this, but they've all been on private land where there's more water or, or, or very hard to get on. There's a lot of hunting pressure in this unit, but man, what an awesome buck. Could not be happier. It's, it's, you know, not a huge buck. It's not a trophy buck, but it's a buck I'll be proud of. Put a great shot at 300 yards on this buck. Um, so could not be happier to get this done in the last couple hours a day here. All right. Adel <laughs> Emily's 2020 rifle doe antelope. She settled for a doe. It was getting near the last light here and she just wanted to get her tag done and get meat in the freezer. Took Adeline out hunting. She's four and a half. It's wet. <laughs> it's wet. <laughs> Is it cute? Yeah. Yeah. Cute antelope. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It's soft. Is it soft? Yeah. All right, well, we'll get this thing butchered up. This is, <laughs> all right. So folks, this is the end of our 2020 rifle antelope hunt in Wyoming. We filled four tags in one day, got it done, got meat in the freezer. Look forward to hearing back from you. Remember to like and subscribe to Bullets for Bucks and leave me a comment.